It turns out, those completely unbelievable rumors about a Borderlands 2 DLC bridging the seven year gap between that game and the upcoming part three are entirely true. Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary is the first DLC for Borderlands 2 since Sir Hammerlock vs. the Son of Cromorax back in 2014. And for the next 30 days, it's free for anyone who owns Borderlands 2 on PS4, Xbox One, or PC. But this isn't some half-assed promotional freebie. It's a great return to Borderlands 2, and I can't stop playing it. Fight for Sanctuary's 10-hour main story is, shockingly, all about fighting for Sanctuary. I know, it really took me by surprise. New baddie Colonel Hector of the new Pandora army shows up and infects Pandora with a virus that turns the familiar baddies into half-plant, half-zombie killing machines. Think the Flood from Halo. They mostly fight the same way, but with extra slag and corrosive attacks, and with more vulnerability to fire, so it's a little different. You also fight Hector's troops, who are beefier versions of Hyperion soldiers accompanied by annoying medics who should be taken down first. They really made me appreciate playing with a co-op buddy. The main mission does a pretty good job setting the stage for Borderlands 3, but the real meat comes from diving into the side missions because they do a great job of touching on the fate of nearly every major character. There's also lots of info and echoes scattered about to fill out the story even more, and I'm still hunting for Easter eggs. Difficulty in Fight for Sanctuary feels just where it should be for a character starting out at level 30. When playing solo, it was just a little tougher than I expected, which is a good thing. It's not frustrating, but it's definitely not a cakewalk. Boss battles are tough, but again, far from impossible. There's also a new raid boss who absolutely requires assistance from your friends. I didn't so much as make a scratch when I tried it solo. The battlefield to fight the boss is appropriately awe-inspiring, a tremendous cavern with platforms littering the battlefield. Unfortunately, no amount of platforming shenanigans could help me last more than a few minutes with my level 37 character. It's real tough is what I'm saying. Yeah, to reward you for those tough fights, there's a new gear rarity level, Rainbow. This stuff is awesome. The real joy is largely aesthetic. Every rainbow item shimmers and shines, but my rainbow submachine guns have excellent rates of fire, reloading, and deal serious elemental fire damage. There are incredibly powerful fire-spewing rainbow grenades too, and I even found a shimmering rainbow shield and skin for my catch-a-ride runner. I love them. But most of all, I'm thrilled to find that all of the signature humor, looting, and other Borderlands 2 goodness is intact after all these years, and that gives me great hope that Borderlands 3 is in good and capable hands. Good work, Slab. Glad we could help. Shut up, Morty Mom! Yeah, For more, check out our breakdown of the Borderlands 3 reveal trailer, some raw Borderlands 3 gameplay, and our roundup of the best guns we've seen so far. And for everything else, stick with IGN.